earlier I walked down these stairs it was about nine degrees and the wind blowing in my face it was really cold I walked down with my balaclava on and my three layers base layer t-shirt hoodie coat and now I'm just sitting here in a t-shirt because of the, the sheer heat and shelter from the, the elements down here it's just surrounded by cliffs and yeah that's, the, that's where we're fishing into today Killian here fishing again on, in my opinion, the Ireland's most scenic beach. It's lovely conditions down here, the sun's shining, um, nice and sheltered from the wind which is above the cliffs there. We'll be fishing for some flatfish hopefully and yeah, hopefully have a few fish to The rig I'm using is just very simple. It's a three hook flapper rig with a bit of a tractor pin there and just a nice healthy slipper of mackerel for the, um, just for the flatties. I've been talking to a few people who fish down here, said there might be a chance of a ray at Dustin's casting. So yeah, we'll try this. Start off with this and see how we get on. And then if the fishing's poor, we'll switch it up into bigger baits for rays. So yeah, wish me all the best and thanks for tuning. I'm on the beach, just chilling out to be honest. Hopefully a few fish to, to show you. And yeah, be nice for the, the camera. Okay guys, I'm just getting a bite there now, so a few knocks, which is great. Yeah, that's fish. First, hopefully I can land it now, be the first fish of the trip. It's just my eyes and my sunglasses or a baseball cap because I was anticipating rain the whole time. Wait for it to kick again, hopefully. Nah. There's fish out there though. Yeah, fish, lovely. Don't know if it's there though. No, not there. A few knocks though, which is good to see fish there, but just trying to land them is the one. Oh, well, I did. I got a fish. Flounder. Lovely. A nice size flounder at that too. First fish of the trip. You can't beat it. Many more to come, hopefully. So yeah, a nice, I would say that is a 30 centimeter flounder just caught there now. Just on the macro bait. Size 4 hooks. Unhooking them is always a mission, but we'll try it. We'll try to get there. Nice 
things away, like a shot. Waiting out as far as possible because I think you need a bit of distance to uh, hit breeze at this mark I was told by a friend of mine so here goes nothing <sighs> ah, Jesus that's, that's about 100, 110 yards I would say and we'll see the crack it's a big pull there Next time it had some going for it. Yeah, they're still hunting. Let's go. Hopefully, a fish now to show you. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a nice fish, too. Oh, God. Let's we'll see what it is. I'll see maybe double flounder, I hope. Double place or double turbot. Double something would be nice, but I'd say it's just single. Something regularly half decent, but can't beat fishing on a sunny day. The most scenic beach in Donegal. It's a uh, flounder. Or dab. Oh, it's double. Oh, it's a turbot. Turbot and a flounder class. Unreal. Double shot of flounder and turbot. Right, let's get them on hooked now. He's just caught through the lips, so that's handy. Just a little baby flounder. Get him back safe and sound. And then the turbot, I think, steeper hook, so that'll be a mission. And he's just a wee like rocket. Right. Okay, so some, after some extreme patience, I finally got my little turbo unhooked and back safely. No damage to the fish at all, because I'm not going to just unhooked them as opposed to the um, flounder earlier. I just... The flounder earlier, I just put the hook in him. So we'll get him back. He's just getting a bit revived there at the minute. Nice. I'd say he's about 25 or so. 25 centimetres. Got a bit of water. That's him away. Lovely got a fish in there, he's just sitting there at the bottom, but no, he's away now, lovely. Okay guys, this is my final cast. I've switched up the tactics again. Still the same free hook flapper rig from earlier with the wee size 4 slivers and macro bait to pick up any flatties which has been working well so far for me. I've got um, good focus there now. I've had two flounder and a turbot. So yeah, twist up the tactics. It's still top and bottom hook picking up flatties with small macro slivers. Um, the only difference is the middle hook. It's a half macro pullet with a size 6 0 coxswain rail and meat hook to pick up anything big that might be out there such as a bullhuss or a I don't know, a ray, spotted ray or thorny or there's even blondes around this type of these parts so 
I'll give that a wing out, give it half an hour and I'll head on then, might do a bit of pollock fishing, I'll get the camping stove cooked the dinner for the evening, then it's conger time tonight, right? Thanks for tuning in folks, and hopefully I have a fish for my last cast. Alright lads, I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Been here about four hours, three fish, not so bad. Nice way, just a nice relaxing way to spend the day, so I don't really mind about the, the lack of fishing, obviously the scenery, you could not beat it. So, um, no takes on the, the last uh, switch of tactic, which was including the big rebate, so we'll leave it at that. I'll wrap up here now shortly, and I'm not looking forward to taking the gear up them steps. I'm coming down, but I might do two runs. It's fucking, it'll be tight, it'll be tight. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll get you set the next one.